now to the investigation into the murder of a local LGBTQ activist and military veteran found dead in Philadelphia's Tioga Nicetown section only blocks from his home. Action News race and culture reporter Taronda Thomas talked to his mother today and she joins us live now from the Satellite Center with the story. Taronda. Well, Jillian, police have ruled the death of 33 year old Marquise Jackson a homicide. The transgender man was an activist who stood up for people in his community and now they are standing up for him. This, this is my baby. Tara Jackson shines with a mother's unconditional love. I am who I am, Mom. I said, okay. That conversation when her son, Marquise MJ Jackson, came out to her as trans. He told me, Mom, I said, listen, I don't care what you, who you are, you still my child. Another conversation last week was a lot more difficult. MJ's um, girlfriend told me that he was missing. Police found the 33 year old last Wednesday in the backyard of a home in the 1800 block of Brunner Street in Tioga Nicetown. He had blunt force trauma to his head. The mystery prompting worried conversations among MJ's friends. And it's not respected. Including Portia Burton. He was very loving. He loved his family. She worked alongside Jackson as an activist. Did a lot of uh, canvassing for trans rights. Um, I worked with him on some home issues. You're always thinking you could be next. Selena Morrison speaks as executive director of Philadelphia's Office of LGBT Affairs, which is working with the DA's office and the police department. Jackson, who lived in Tioga Nicetown, is at least the 35th murder of a trans person nationwide. We all always use the term at least because often they go misreported, unreported. The country's most recent previous murder of a trans person was also in Philadelphia. We can solve these murders. We just need some dedicated individuals that are going to put in the work. I just want justice for my son. Demanding answers for her son who served in the army. My son helped anybody. He will give you his shoes. Now others are giving on a GoFundMe page to pay for his funeral expenses as a mother prepares to say goodbye but refuses to give up. All I want it's just justice for my child. There's a $20,000 reward in this case, and Philadelphia police are accepting calls on their anonymous tip line. That number is 215-686-TIPS. Now, for anyone who might be uncomfortable calling police, the city's Office of LGBT Affairs is also accepting tips in this case. In the Satellite Center, Taronda Thomas, Channel 6 Action News. Yeah, and you can make those tips anonymously. Taronda, thank you. Well, this